Hello everyone, welcome to my very, very first um, episode of Total War Rome Remastered. For those that don't know who I am, which will be a lot, <laughs> everyone most likely, because this is my first attempt of uploading um, a video to YouTube and doing a YouTube series around, I think, for anyone watching and anyone in, that knows this game, a, a game in a franchise that has held, ve it's been held very high in the past, um, and and had some great memories. I, I I would I would like to say anyway for me personally, I remember um, I remember Young Clan Chief William uh, playing these games. Uh, first first kind of delve into the Total War series was Total War Shogunate. Um, didn't really understand it at the time because I was I was really really young and I was like oh cool man you get an army and you can kill stuff that's awesome um, but the old and I, I got a little bit older and then Total War Rome came out and I think that's when I first started to develop my love um, for these kind of strategy type games and I think everyone who's played any strategy game that's that's worth their salt knows about the Total War franchise and the impact that it's had on these types of games. Um, so yeah, um, I thought why not? Why not um, Why not start a YouTube series? I, 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 love, I love these games. It's, it's something that I'm really passionate about. Um, now, doesn't mean that I'm good, so <laughs> you're going to have to bear with me on that one. I apologise if I'm not up to anyone's standard. Um, I'm used to playing like your your Total War Warhammer 2 and stuff like that. I still have continued to play uh, the Total War series. Um, for the ups and the downs, let's not let's not kid ourselves on here with this one. Um, definitely had a few challenging times with a few other releases of games and stuff like that. But um, I'm a big believer that you need to make mistakes to essentially grow and kind of and learn from that, which I feel um, at this point in time they are taking the right direction in. Um, not that my, my opinion really matters to them because I'm a nobody. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to crack on um, and we will start a, a start a game. Now, this is, this is my first time coming back to the uh, Total War Rome um, series. Um, for those that uh, maybe are just watching this and um, have just kind of like saw this and be like, oh my god, I didn't know the remaster that like, you can get it on Steam. Um, I actually was able to get it for half price because I had this already in my library. I think that was only a pre-order um, option. I could be wrong. I, I don't know if they're continuing that on. Um, but again, I don't don't think it's um, don't think it's uh, too much in regards to what they're asking for. I think I only paid like what fifteen or seventeen pounds, something something along those lines. I actually can't remember. Um, but yeah, um, you can get it on Steam. I imagine you can get it on other um, other websites as well. I put it on new Steam for my games anyway. Um, I am a I am a Scottish streamer um, and YouTube content creator. Um, out from sunny sunny Scotland or well that's a lie because it's it's never sunny let's be honest for those that stay in Scotland you'll know it's definitely not sunny um but yeah let's let's crack on guys let's um let's kind of let's let's get let's get the ball rolling so let's go new game uh, imperial campaign the music just the music and everything it just brings back so many feels so we've got three options that you start off with here you have the Julii um, the house of Julii so I think that's predominantly known for obviously Julius Caesar, um, the famous and first dictator of Rome. You then have uh, the Roman Brutii family, um, and then you have uh, the Roman Scipii family. I think if I I could be wrong here, but I think I, if I if I saw something somewhere, um, I think in order of these houses, like I think Julii was the most played faction. And then you have your Brutii, and then it was the Scipii, who, like, that's kind of, like, in order, as you can see right now. Like, 
pop, most popular, moderately popular, and least popular played factions in that time. I don't really... I, I get why Julii, do you know what I mean? Like, you've got Julius Caesar, and plus, when you think of Romans, everyone thinks of the standout red colours and stuff like that. It does look uh, really nice um, to look at, that <laughs> is the red Romans. Um, but for me, guys, m my favourite faction to always play as was the Scipii. I just, I just kind of gravitated towards them. Um, so, let's read it out. So, Rome's violent foundation foreshadowed a political and military infighting that still occurs between its great families. The patriarch families, or patriarchal families of Rome, including the Scipii, claimed descent from the adventurers, exiles, and warriors Romulus recruited to help establish his great city. Uh, there are aristocrats and news, uh, they are aristocrats and use their privilege and power in Rome's interest and their own. They have produced able politicians um, and generals. The two go in hand, uh, the two go hand in hand in Rome, as political success really comes without uh, competence on the battlefield. So that's good, and um, that's good to know that we can. Uh, I, d I don't think that'll have any in-game effect really, but it's given a little background. Uh, of the Scipii. The Scipii are, however, not quite of the first rank, uh, which makes them keen to prove themselves to the other families. So they have a little bit chip in their shoulder, so that'll be good. Um, they are extravagantly wealthy and not afraid to show it. They also have a taste for Greek learning and culture. These un-Roman ways surprise and concern most uh, conservative Romans. Nevertheless, the Scipii have the political skills and military renown to make their family the greatest in Rome and possibly rulers of the world. For now, they may only control a couple of provinces, but their ambitions are boundless. Okay, so I like that. I like how we have the kind of the Greek learning, uh, but some people don't think that's very Roman-like to do. Um, but that that would be very interesting to see um, how we start off. So what we'll do. We'll start off the game. Let's make sure everything, uh, yeah, we've got it all remastered. That's fantastic, right? Cool. So let us just hit start campaign. We'll start as a kit, skip a little intro. We'll watch the intro video and then we'll pick up from there. Okay. So Cornelius Scipio, the leader of the Scipio or Scipii family. So I'm pretty sure we start with Capua. Uh, yeah, we do. So we start with Capua and a province. Uh, Messia uh, and kind of Sicily. Also, it's not Sicily at that time. We have Syracuse to the south of us, and we've got Carthage to the west of us. I think if I remember correctly, that's a uh, Liberium. If I'm saying that correctly, I'm probably not. I'm going to apologise as well if I'm slaughtering slaughtering any of the pronunciations of the places. Um, I don't intentionally do it, but I <laughs> apologise nonetheless. Okay. Um, let us look at our family. So our leader is 54. Uh, he kind of is on, uh, getting a little bit on. He's a three-star commander. Um, the influence, so sometimes this man, uh, this man's console carries weight and his opinions are sought on carefully selected matters. He has good management, so he's got good influence and good management. So this, uh, this man's limited administrative talent uh, produces results that are adequate but far from inspired. So he can run, he can run the family. Um, so victory conditions. I think this means we have that amount of turns. So, a uh, imperator become the supreme ruler of Rome and control at least fifty provinces either by direct ownership or through um, protectories or protectorates. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need that at the moment. That's income. So here we go. Here's a here's a family here's a family tree, which I really really love about the. Um, the Total War franchise at the start, I love like medieval, you have your family trees and your family heirs and stuff like that. Just, I always kind of loved it. Um, so, we've got a skilled infantry commander, that's good. He's stern, which is also good. He's a skilled bureaucrat, politician, he's a good commander and faction leader. He's also got an aged retainer. This is our faction heir, uh, Julianus Scipio. He doesn't have any management. An underachieving oyster would show more signs of being able to manage the day-to-day -day affairs of the Empire. That's probably not what we want to hear, <laughs> let's be honest. 
Um, he's not got that great of an influence, um, but he does. He, yeah, he does have a basic talent for command. Okay, um, I'm not sure if influence and stuff like that can be can, influence and management can be expanded or made better over time in the campaign. Like if we do, if we do pretty well with them, they'll gain that ability. Uh, but here is a here is a free uh, sons. Um, Julianus has Flavius Scipio and Lucius Scipio. Um, Quintus Scipio uh, has Placidia uh, and Publius uh, Scipio, and then we have Guy Scipio. And we've also got a, we've also got another son who's fourteen, uh, Alunus Scipio. If I'm saying that correctly, so. I would say unless we do it, or unless I do anything drastically stupid, I don't see as a, uh, I don't see as dying off uh, anytime soon. So the the family the family tree is there. Now the Senate um, has sent us a message, uh, a message. I can't even speak a message of a mission. I think I was trying to combine their mission and message there which is now we're going to use a message. <laughs> so the Senate asks you to take the settlement for the glory of the Empire. So they want me to take Syracuse. Okay, I mean, that can be done. I, we've got a spy there. We've got Quintus Scipio. And we have a faction leader in there as well. Yes, cool, so let us put our spy in. Right, so he's in there, that's fine. Let us get our faction leader out here. Let's get her static. And then get these guys out here as well. Um, so we can't recruit anymore, so let's get a military bar barracks. We want to get her static. I think what we could... So I think the plan here is, right... I think what we should do... Oh, the soundtrack. I, oh, the soundtrack, sorry. I'm completely... Sad. I'm trying to get a full plan, but the soundtrack is just sidetracking me i just i love the soundtrack of this game brings back so many fond memories another new thing as well guys for those that aren't uh for those that uh, aren't new to this uh total war series we can now have merchants so like, if anyone remembers medieval you could have merchants over trade resources they've got them as well so that would be a very good thing that we can do um and control the trade but i think what we want to do the Brutii normally will go for Apollyanna and take that straight away. Shh, that general's really good. Is that not their faction here? That's their faction here? I would be... I'd be putting him as my faction here. Look, he's got good influence, but... I'd, I'd be having him. Um, but yeah, they normally take there. I think what I want to do... March on Syracuse. Right, we'll march on there. Um, after we take Syracuse, I want to build a fleet, and then we can go to Greece itself. We'll take Sparta, um, Corinth, and Athens. Um, take the southern part of Greece. I think if we take that, that will be pretty good. Um, if I remember correctly, that's normally rebels that sit here in Crete. I don't. That's not the real name, Crete. I can't remember what it's called here. Um, and then we can take roads as well from the Greek city-states. We will we'll have to worry about Macedonia if they maybe are allied with them at this point. So we might need to watch out for that. But let us... So we'll get Cornelius Scipio. Where's our faction here? Right, so he's in there. So Juliana Scipio. Then we've we'll got Gaius uh, Scipio over here. Let us get you in here. Let's start building up an army. We want to get some more guys out in the go here. Um, also, what can we build here? Let us build a, a practice range. We want to get some range units out there. Right in there is our fleet. We can't build a fleet as of yet. If we take Syracuse, we'll be, we'll be able to get one. Um, but do we want to go right in and attack them now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's declare war. Um, and let's get siege tables. Let's get two siege tables. No, let's do two of that and then two siege tables. Do we want to do that? Or ladders? That's going to take longer, so let's do ladders. So that will take the right, cool. We've got that. And let us maintain the siege. 
Um, so war, yep, House of Scipio and the Greek city-states are now at war. That's uh, Greek city-states, Greek, the Greek cities, sorry. Um, and that was just our spy mission. Um, so we don't have anything there. Uh, again, our allies are the Julii family. The Gaul are right um, up at Julii, so he's pretty good. Flavius Julius. I'd say he's probably the best to start off with, is he? In fact, we're not too bad as well. Like, we, we're actually, we're, we're quite average, so... Yeah, I mean, I think we just need to make sure we can get some of our... Uh, we need to get our faction air, some other generals worked up. So let us... I think that's us, guys. Let us hit enter. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's moved so fast. That's good. Oh, what's golden? Have I just jinxed it? I oh, know I haven't. Here we go. So the Greek cities are moving out. Rebels and back to ourselves. Okay, diplomatic information. The following factions are now at war with each other. Perfect, so they have followed me into war since we are allies and we are fighting for the people and for Rome. Cool, so they have followed us into war. Recruitment report. So we have completed Hastati and that is the next one. And then the end of the turn report was just to make us aware of what essentially uh, we are getting. I think we could probably march over with Juliana, Scipio at the moment, and Hestati. Just, just to reinforce. I just want to get some reinforcements over there ASAP just to help this out. I just feel a little bit more, um, I don't want to hide any mysteries. A little bit more safe and secure that um, we have our faction leader um, with more hostility in there to take the say. Do we have a diplomat? We do, we do. So let us send our diplomat over to here. Let's see if we can get some negotiations opened up with Macedonia to possibly just, just, just secure um, to secure that that front in northern Greece. If we can get an alliance with them, some sort of good relationship, they might be uh, open to not joining them if they are in any form of alliance. One of the things as well, you can now turn the camera, which I find really good. I don't know if you could have done that before, but yeah. So let's, yeah, get com troops combined up. That's fantastic. Right, you head back. Um, so still waiting on that. Still waiting on a military barracks being built. Do we have everything built here? Can we attack? It's assault. Yeah, we do. So here we go, guys. We have the battle for Syracuse. We are against their faction heir, Dionysus of Sparta. He's 35. He's pretty decent himself. Uh, he has 473 men at his disposal. Uh, and we have 888 men at our disposal. Our management has also went up one, I think. Um, so yeah, we are 55. We have the faction air with us as well. So we should teach him some uh, some lessons about war. Maybe he's got the same command, but maybe we can teach him something about management then. Let us proceed to the battle. Let's fight this one. We're fighting our first battle, guys, for the Scipii family and for Rome. And we're back in the military the speeches. Ready to fight or die. Today, I think we should send as many of them as possible to Hades. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so loath that no ally can be found to support them. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. The balance of numbers favors us, I see. This is good. I do not believe in giving the enemy an easy time. Those fools have never fought against me before. I hope to give them a nasty surprise. When I stand before you and say, this is my kind of fight, warrior to warrior, you know I speak the truth, that I will lead you to a great victory and greater glory. There is 
no shame in fear. There is only shame in letting fear rule you. Try not to look scared, and you'll find bravery in your heart! Okay. So, Cornelius Scipio leading his first battle. Um, oh, we're leading the first battle with him. So here we have Syracuse. Stone walls, we're going to... My spy has been able to open the gates. Excellent. Okay, so we don't need the battering rams. The only issue we're going to have with this, though, is the um, hot plates that they have. The hot plates are very, very strong um, at just holding one position. So this is why we'll have our ladders. I think we divide our guys up here. Um, so put one guy over here, one guy over there. Let's get a unit behind them. So we're not focusing it all on one aspect uh, of the siege. Um, let's get our archers up behind them. And then let's get our guys just here. Right, let's go. Move up. Got the walls. Get you guys going up as well. Some people like to put their archers uh, at the very front to kind of soak up damage. I only can ever do that in like the, the newer games to be completely honest with you. Right, let's just get our guys going through. Probably going to get some oil poured on us right now. That way, get a few volleys off. There you go. I like to see. There's some good amount of damage. We'll disrupt them, they're now going to move. Oh, are they giving us ground? They're turning their backs. Well, let's get in here, guys. Let's go. Let us get in here. We'll keep our general safe at the back. Don't we have any un uh, any casualties? Uh, no, I want you to stay and fight. I want you guys to go there. And you guys to go there. Hopefully, you can get some javelins off. I do not want that. <laughs> guys, why are you facing the wrong way? Face the other way and throw these guys, please. Uh soldiers have reached the walls with ladders. The bravest will soon be over the defenses. Here we go, so our ladders are up. Yeah, I want them to throw. We need to capture these walls ASAP because those Siege towers are really doing a number. Can I maybe get the guys around here like this? Yeah, I don't want you throwing at them. There we go. Nice, here we go. We've got it. Perfect. Right behind them. I should then take out the hot lights. Here we go. Hopefully we can capture these walls ASAP. Yeah, they should they should they should now be waving. They're gonna get charged from the back. Get the pill tests. We do have hot plates up here, which will be quite challenging. As soon as we take this side though, we can then march to that side. Mm. 
Right. Okay. We'll just wipe out those guys. Can I get a unit up here? That is a question. We can capture this wall. That's going to do us a hell of a favour. Right, the archers are breaking. That's good. The enemy walls have been captured. Nice. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Got the walls. That's what we wanted. Nice. Here we go. So the walls are ours. See, I think in the the Rome Total War series, I think the the sieges were always a little bit harder. I feel when the the sieges and the the newer games, they are a little bit lacking. As I said, I'll always be honest, guys. Um, I just feel a little bit lacking. <laughs> I remember that animation. <laughs> what a way to go. Like, you're in a siege and then you fall off the wall. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why I'm laughing. I don't know if that makes me a bad person. So, their general's just sitting there. Right, okay. Let's just mop up these guys. Right, let's get used down here. Start moving out. Fantastic. So we go. Get all all her static, get them all in the walls. Get you up there. Are they just gonna sit there. I don't know if it's worth risking my general and going to take him out. I feel that's a little bit too risky. It can be quite pernickety when you, you get that all done. Right, let's get this fast forward and get all the guys sped up. Oh, are you kidding me on? Well, okay, maybe not. Let's uh, let's move up here then. Need to move my archers as well. It's actually, so that isn't mine. Right, okay. Even though I've captured the... Right, okay. Probably forgotten about that. Right, so I've got a hot... Got militia, militia hot lights over there still defending. Right, come on guys, everyone move. This isn't just a single thing, but everyone go. Just need to watch because they didn't get caught out. Bring these guys back. For some reason, when I told them, they all go at the same time. Why is there still guys waiting in the back there? Right, okay. Right, we have movement. Let's take, let's take the risk. Oh, where charge your back is? Okay. That's what you want to do, I mean, okay. We'll have our guys come inside him. Ah, there you guys are coming, try, try to come in the back of his ear. Already. Press forward so the spirit of his army is dead. Too. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Let's move our generals up there. I feel like these guys should take enough damage that they'll just rout because they're behind us, and we have the we do have the siege uh, towers here at our, at our disposal. 
surely they have to die. Can I get like get no armor? Okay, they kind of left themselves exposed, that's fine. Just got our guys moving up. Surround them. Yeah, they're coming back now. Guide attack. There you go. Wait, what? Why are you there? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Wait, that should be enemy. Let's speed up. There you go. So he did. He did give us some damage. We've got six hundred and nineteen soldiers remaining in Syracuse. That's fine. Here we go. And um, what is exterminate? And um, what is? So we can't do that. Destroy that because it's Greek culture. We want to promote Roman culture, so we can't destroy these. Unfortunately, these are the only things you can't destroy. Um, just because of the, um, they are like put in place. I don't think these are buildings you can destroy. You can only kind of overtake them and make it roaming when you get to upgrade. So let's get a military bar barracks in here to replenish some of our guys. Um, can't get them to move out there, can we? Out there, come back in. There you go. So you can get the guys. I don't think you can. Okay. Oh, that's nah, just um, that's all merging them, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's all merging. Don't want to do that. Um, resistance is futile. Yes. So we have um, exterminated all the population there. Our mission has been successful. The Senate is pleased to note that you have taken this settlement and you have been awarded a bounty uh, for your efforts. You've been granted a gift of 5,000 denarii. Nice, nice. 5,000 denarii, I will happily take that. Um, diplomatic information. The following factions are now at war with each other. SPQR, Gaul, and the House of July with Gaul. Um, Spain and Carthage are now allies. Okay. Might be something we might need to watch out for if we ever do go and take Carthage on, which I imagine we will do. Um, now that they're sending spies into Syracuse to see what's going on. Be excited. The bloodshed. They won't peace eh no until next time we, we we do not want peace we want to capture greece <laughs> at, at rhymes we don't want no peace we want to capture greece sorry i'll never do that again <laughs> i don't know why i did that so there we go uh lily beam was in it correctly that is our next target and uh, let's get our spy in here i think one thing we we'll want to do as well can we can we do this? There you go. Yeah, let's build a watchtower. Confirm. So we have that vision. Our vision right there. Plus of the coast as well, that'll be good to have. Um, and get you up there. I think we can we can't build a watchtower here, can we? Because it's not in our no we can't, it's not our territory. Um, and you build one now. So we've kind of got full line of sight then. We'll know when they plan to move on us. Um, right, cool. So we can get some more Hestati here. Let us get a practice range. Get us some range units over here. I think we'll use uh, this as a staging point. 
it's a good staging point to attack Carthage. We can take Carthage here. We'll eventually, like, Carthage is the great enemy of Rome, or was one of the great enemies of Rome. I think that's kind of like well documented. So I definitely think we will uh, be going to war with him very soon. I actually just noticed that. I think that's cool. Kind of looks like if it was like once before promoting, there was like a bit of landmass between them. That's really cool. I didn't notice that. Um, but yeah, so. We are going to be probably going to war soon with Carthage. I think what I want to do, because my faction is here, I'm going to leave Julianus Scipio here. I'm going to build up an army of him to take on Carthage. While Cornelius, in fact, no, do I want to do that? Because if Cornelius is quite old, and if he does suffer, he has taken a, a decrease to command. Why is that? I thought his command was four. We're okay. Um, I might send. I might send my my heir then to to, um, to Greece. Send Julianus to Greece. Get him to conquer that, and then my leader Cornelius can stay and deal with Carthage, and we could maybe have uh, Quintus. He's okay. Gaius though. Gaius Scipio, 30, still got a good amount of years ahead of him. I think he's the one I'll probably send with Cornelius to deal with the Carthaginians. Um, marriage celebrations, Gaius, okay, here we go. Is my... Are they not on? I oh, should have the sounds that are on. Um, there we go. Um, Diplomatic information, the following factions are now at war, Spain and Gaul and the House of Brutii in Gaul. Right, okay. So we're not at war with Gaul. We haven't declared war on them. We've got recruitment, we've built uh, a practice range in Capua, nice military bar barracks in Messenia, that's fine. Our income, oof, that's really good. Castati, nice, nice, nice. So the Julii are sieging there. My diplomat, let's uh, move up. Ooh, Macedonia, right, okay. So Macedonia have taken a Apollyanna. Normally Brutii take that, unless the Brutii will then declare war. But su surely not, surely they won't go all the way up there and fight Gaul, will they? I've never seen them do that before. Never seen them do that. Um, our next mission, okay. So take the settlement. The Senate has asked you to take a settlement for the glory of the Empire. You'll be awarded with a unit of Tiarii. Right, okay. That could be useful. Um, let's end turn then. Let's build up an army. We've got 10 turns to build up. I want to build two armies. One for Greece and one for Carf uh, Carf the Carf Carthaginian, sorry. Coming of age. I'll use Scipio. Okay. Diplomatic information. They're now at war. Nice. We can use this. We could use this. We don't want Macedonia to become too strong. That might push our plans forward. But Egypt and the Seleucid Empire as well. Well, you know what they say? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So let us go to Apollyanna and see if we can strike up some bargaining agreements or trade rights with the Macedonians. Right. We can't retrain anyone as of yet, no. So let's get another barracks in there. That will take three turns. Um, right, move up. Um, let's get some more Hestati. Um, three more and some Velites. Fantastic. And Capia, what can we build here? What do we want? Let's get a port so we can start building navies. Hmm. That's the end of our turn as well. Cool. Let's end it. SPQR are moving out to Germany, the Germanics. Right. Yes. Honor. 
Um, we've got no alerts, none of that. Okay. In fact, we haven't checked our other sun. He will spawn with a faction aid, if I remember correctly, or a faction leader. So he is. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> he has nothing. Minus one in influence. He's a fluent speaker. Right, okay. So. He's a confident attacker. He's gloomy. Okay, so yeah, I don't think he will be doing anything anytime soon. Unfortunately. Uh, okay. Let me get him. Let us see if we get any any offspring or anything like that. No. We've, so we've at least got what three generations? Get three generations. That's fine. Right. Where's that? Uh... Oh yeah, we know he's sitting there. That's fine. We know he's sitting there. Completely fine. So Sparta, I think, is going to be our our, our main concern. Right. Okay. So, the Brutti I have went to Thermon. I did not see that. Agent found... Yeah, we know that. Carthage is going to... Carthage is going to go to war with us soon enough, we know that. Right, end that, that's fine. So, we're building up our armour there, we've got... We've got a... Uh, got that there. What we, we've built our port. So I think next, let us build our shrine to Vulcan. I think Vulcan is the best one to go with. Yeah, upgrades weapons as well, one turn. Fantastic, so get more of an ex experienced army here. Next turn, we can start to um, you know, repopulate uh, and recruit some more guys. Get these guys built in there, just in case. I was spy. Oh, we've forgotten about him. At your service. Let's get him in there, so he can at least open the gates for us. It'll be interesting to see how much the Brutti I take of Greece. We at least want the statue of Zeus. Gives us that plus four bonus. I'm pretty sure. So Macedonia have Athens, Sparta have Corinth, and Sparta. Nope, there'll be an attack. So be interesting. <clears throat> Marriage celebrations. Right, okay. So our fourth born son. Spy mission success. Right, we know about that. That's fine. War declared of Britannia and Gaul. Right, okay. That's interesting. Not expect that, but okay. Oh, they have war elephants. See, we could really have news the Tiari right now to deal with those war elephants. If I'm being honest here. Um, let us build... It's got a wooden wall. Let's make Campia more fortified. That is our capital after all. Right, perfect. Let's regroup these guys. Or retrain them, sorry. Uh, let's get a practice range in here as well. What does that do? That gives principes. We'll build that. Hmm. Principes are really strong. Yeah, it's going to be a war front, so let's get, let's get that up there. Um, I want to send him back. I'm sorry, pal, but you are just of no use to me at the moment. You might, you might shine later on. It might be your time to do that, but not right now. Not right now, pal. Yeah, you don't really look that worthwhile. So I've got roads. Okay. I wonder why we're getting good coverage of that though. Yeah, so the rebels have their merchants there, that's fine. Ceasefire in effect. So now that they've got a foothold, they've called a ceasefire. 
Senate offices assigned. Noble senators of Rome have decided in their wisdom that your faction does not deserve the honour of holding any of the Republic's offices uh, of state at this time. Hmm. So who is holding an office then? So here you go to? No, where is it you go to again? There you go, current standing. He's really good, Flavius. Yeah, he's really good. He's Questor. Uh, Adeu. Uh, Tiberius Brutus. Faction leader. He's pretty decent as well, to be fair. We're, we're on level par. We don't really... No one's really kind of outshining anyone at the moment. So that's fine. I've never ever really saw, like, these guys, like, make a move out and go and do stuff. It'd be really cool if they started trying to do stuff as well. Oh, I need to watch our gold here. Right, I think it's our time to make a move. Yeah, we're, make, we're making a, a loss. Um, just need to watch that. Oh, is our diplomat not moving? Diplomat. Right. Fortunately, it's a lot of ending turns at the moment. I'm surprised the Brutii just do, had a ceasefire straight away. Normally, they try and take the whole of Greece. Okay. Let us now talk reasonably. Um, give region. Regretfully, we must decline. No, they don't want to do it. That's fine. I didn't expect them to anyway. Just um, making it unagreeable so that they're like, nah, I'm not going to agree with that. I don't want to move out there. Ready. Yes, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. Imperator. We need to make a move anyway. Still units there, this should be okay. Go the road, let's let's start focusing on some trade. Um war declared. They've <laughs> just went back to all of them. I think like that's one thing I forgot about this. There's really no repercussions of you doing a ceasefire and then going straight back to war. No repercussions of whatsoever. You just kind of do that, and then that's that. You're at war. Macedonia moving out. I wonder if they'll go to war with Macedonia as well. I wonder if Britii will declare war on both of them. That will be... See, that would be unwise, but the Romans do have good advantages. So, I could see the Britii taking them out. We just don't want them to take them out with... So... Carthage is reinforcing here. Uh, Capua grows, nice. Flavius Scipio, oh my grandson, is also worthless. <laughs> it's not looking too good for the for the Scipio family here in regards to inheritance after this uh, first generation. Can't really. I don't think we can take these guys. Honestly, I don't think we can. I think we need to wait for guys to come. Right. We're making a loss. Let's go. 
We need to get some trade agreements on the go. The Byzantium hasn't been taken. Okay. That's interesting. I really like that red, black, and white color scheme. It's really cool. Ooh, we're nearly at a minus. Popularity falls with the masses. Ah, who cares? Diplomatic information. Following facts are now at war. Armenia and Pontus. The following facts are now declared that their allies, Thrace, Dacia, Britannia, the House of Julii? Really? Okay. <clears throat> Construction report. Got that. Done next turn. I just hope we don't go to debt this next. Oh, the ah, I don't like the Brutti Eye. They might take this before me. God damn it, Brutti Eye. We just need to focus on Carthage and not be able to take Greece. Ah, it's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. A lot of fighting going on right now. A lot. Oh, with a negative. Fleet ready. General, engage the enemy. Victory. Orders. Engage the enemy. Sir, prepare for battle. Yeah, I'll be fair, we can always over. Victory! General, sir! Prepare for battle. General, onward, fleet ready! Yes, Captain! How's the Skeppy Eye in Carthage? Alliance announced the solicited and the Armenians. Okay, so we've got that. Ah, oh, we're not going to do that in time. Get one turn. Ah, oh, I've failed the mission as well. God damn it. It's not a take great start. Let's get rid of these guys. Isn't that a positive? One eight, minus 91. Half blocked. Okay, we know that. Hmm. Finances aren't looking too good. Don't think I got off to a great start here. Maybe I've like over, I've, I've overspent or over, yeah, spent too much in the army. Not focused in the industry yet. They have moved up, yeah, so they may try and take one of my settlements. Looks like Greece is trying to reinforce Athens in time. I'm hoping the Brutti I lose that. I'm hoping they do not take it. General. Forward. General. Engage the enemy. Begin the siege. Besieging settlement, General. Engage the enemy. Begin the siege. Maintain that. Yep, failed rioting. I think we might lose Syracuse here. Why are they rioting here?
Way to lose that, that's fine. Yes. Without delay. Ah, oh, they took Athens, god damn it. We're under siege! Right, let's jump. There's Germany. Britannia. Okay, we really need to make some income now. Settlement besieged. Yep, agent found. Following faction now at war. Brutia and Gaul. The following faction have declared their allies. Germania and the Julii. Okay, it's interesting. Sir! Cool. Let's see if we get safe enough to auto resolve this. Victory! That's it, give us some money. Sir! Sir! General! But we need to move and aid. Of Syracuse. So that's fine, we've got that. Let's destroy that. Anything that is not of our culture, we destroy. Repair the walls. Let us get let's get a farm in here. We need to get some money. We've been quite fortunate there. Uh, with the sacking of that. A uh, diplomat, public order. Let's get this. It'll give us a, a bonus to trade. Let's give you a war because they're so close. Um, and trade rates. A most generous proposal. Right, cool. Some trade rates, and there we go. What about map information? A most generous proposal. Fantastic. We've got that. I'm hoping these can hold out. I really want to catch. If I can, if I can get Sparta and Corinth, I'll be happy. They can keep Athens. I just I want that. It's my good foothold in Greece for when we do declare independence. Devoted to justice. Devotion to justice. Sorry. Um. I buy him out. <laughs> Clearly not. Uh, wasn't really a good, uh, good merchant. He just lost straight away. Retinue expires. Carthaginian turncoat. Guy Scipio. He's got a plus one command when fighting Carthaginians. So yeah, he is going to be the the leader to go to war with the skip uh, with the Carthaginians. And if that is the case. Right, we need to get these guys. We need to get these guys. Hopefully the Carthaginians may retreat. I'm hoping. They probably got a peace agreement here. Let us now talk reasonably. No. Until next time. Even though it's looking pretty bad for us, we don't want a peace agreement. Okay, so they have run away. Oh, can we... That is the faction... He's 72? Right, let's fight this. We need to win this one, guys. We need to win this one. Friends, Romans, countrymen! Today is a day for brave deeds! Today is a proud day to be Roman! Today we face the mighty Carthaginians, brave men and worthy foes. 
They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations. They have been led here by strutting fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. Their elephants are going to be a problem, men, but one that we must face. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. When I stand before you and say, this is my kind of fight, warrior to warrior, you know I speak the truth, that I will lead you to a great victory and greater glory. Here we go. For the greater victory and the greater glory. So we're evenly matched. Oh, we're going uphill. Oh, I do not like that one bit. Okay, let's get our guys moving. Right, they do have flaming, flaming, a uh, flame arrow. So you guys will sit at the back here with the hot plates, and we are going to be waiting for these. Reinforcements have arrived, but are they in time to take part in the battle? I've got another Roman general. Okay. Where's the elephants? They're over there. Okay, so we'll want to deal with these guys. Hot bites, you'll need to deal with them. War Cav, I'm fine with that. Iberian Infantry. So they, they, they do have a lot of Cav, which is going to be an issue. It's light cavalry though. Let's move up. I don't know how you do this all at one. I know there's a way, I just don't know how you do it. Let's walk. I'm going uphill, guys. Well, my archer's going right behind him. So what is it at the moment? The balance of forces are okay, evenly matched. Go on guys, move, let's go. Right. You guys moving up. guys in there, deal with those guys and come around the back. The enemy king yes, we got him! Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. Run through the line of the Oh 
Are they, are they just routing? That's what's happening here. We won. It was a route. They routed. Okay, so the, the computer remembers to route if it's like I, they don't think they're going to win. The enemy army is in yes! Oh, Rome will be amazed at such a victory. The day is ours! The day is ours! Ah, oh, what? How did he get to retreat all the way up there? I think that's a bit, um, it's a bit unfair here, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay. Diplomatic information. Cynthia and Thrace are allies. Uh, Germany and Macedonia are allies. Um, the following factions have declared a ceasefire. Macedonia and the Greek uh, cities. They must obviously see the threat that is the Brutii at the moment. They do have an army there, but I don't really see that doing much. Right, let's let's recuperate those guys. Uh, we've got you there, that's fine. Can you march over here at this point? Let's do that. They're just going to go in and take that, I'm an idiot. I should not have moved. They might just go in and take uh, that settlement again. Let us end the turn. If they do, we do. we'll just recapture. That means we get to kill off that army. Oh, I shouldn't have made that move. I just don't get why he gets to go all the way back there. Oh, no, they haven't. Look at that general for Spain. Seven-star general. Jeez Louise. Ambush in place. Orders. Will this work if I put him in there? It will. Fantastic. And then it means... Excellent, we can retrain those guys. And retrain him. Fantastic. Oh, who's this? Lucius Scipio. What is with everyone being born absolute whimsical nature? This man's <laughs> erratic pers uh, persona makes some questions in his suitability for governance. Jeez Louise, man. He's untruthful. Lucius, you need to be better. So it doesn't look like the, the third generation looks to be very strong for the Scipio. I'm not looking that great, guys. Uh, he's rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. Let's just hope uh, Publius is better somehow. Or Gaius or... I don't have any hope for him, but Gaius can maybe have an air. He seems kind of okay. I don't know what you're doing with your kids, Julianus, but hey -o. Um So we have Senate and Office assigned. Um, Rome has decided in their wisdom that your faction does not deserve the honour of holding any offices. Nice. So again, we don't get it. It's writing. Uh, they're now at war, Macedonian Thrace. The fallen faction have broken their alliances. Greek cities, Pontus, Germany, must already, and Thrace and Scythia. The following factions have declared their allies, Armenia, Greek, and Greek cities, Brittany and Spain, Germany and Thrace, Germany and Scythia, and Pontus and Parthage. Okay. And Parthia, sorry. Right, let's get that away. Hmm. And we have three turns to do what? Block Carthage. Okay, so I think we're going to do it, guys. We're going to end end it here. That is the first episode um, of Total War Rome Remastered with the House of Scipio. We have getting off to a a pretty. Not, not not the best start. I haven't got off to the best start. Made not made the best decisions. It looks like the Brut uh, the Brutii are gonna take Greece, unfortunately. Um yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have the statue of Zeus. So yeah, that's not gonna be too great for our for us. We wanted to quickly slingshot over there and capture uh, capture the southern part of Greece. But listen, this happens. Uh, this is this will only make the Scipii grow stronger. I think now what we need to do is focus on Carthage. 
Let's focus on Carthage. Let's make our way to North Africa and we will take that out. We'll deal with Carthage and take North Africa. That should be our focus. If we can take Sparta in a few of these bits, I, I don't see why not. We can still slingshot over here. Um, but it's not going to be one of big, big focus at the moment. If they do lose this, Brutii, then we will be there to, uh, poised to take position and take content and everything off them because that's something that we will need. Um, but guys, if you have enjoyed this, um, as much as I have, I've, I've really enjoyed it, um, getting back into the swing of things, still still a, a little bit rusty, um, you might be able to tell you, like, this guy clearly thinks he's still playing Total War Warhammer, um, but if you have enjoyed it, guys, please hit that like and subscribe button, it goes a long way for myself, I'm trying to uh, build a, a little community here, um, known as the Highland Clan, since so I am Clan Chief William. And um, for anyone that is interested, I also do stream um, over at twitch.tv forward slash Clan Chief William. Um, I stream Monday, uh, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and also Sundays. Um, 8 p.m. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and 6 p.m. on a Sunday. But guys, it has been an absolute pleasure. I appreciate you spending time with me. Um, Again, I hope everyone has a safe weekend. Don't get uh, up to anything I wouldn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, stay safe. And it has been an absolute pleasure speaking to everyone.